In the last video, we saw a simple example about how to overload plus plus or increment operator. So that is an example for the unary operator overloading. Uh, so let me explain once again what is that unary operator overload. So if we have a data like this int x equal 10, I can say x plus plus. Here I have only one operand. Suppose I have two variables x and y. When I say that x plus y, it is not a unary operator, it is a binary operator. So here x plus plus or plus plus x, it is a simple example for unary operator. Now, so here we are going to see about an another example for unary operator overloading by applying pre-decrement operator minus minus S1. So here you can see that the S1 is the object. So when the object is getting created, its attribute data is assigned by this integer 10. And when, you, when we are saying that minus minus S1, we expect this 10 to be decremented to 9. So how it can be done? Again, we have to write the new meaning for that minus minus. So define new meaning for the pre-decrement operator. for that some return type then that special member function name should be operator then followed by which operator we want to overload then followed by a set of parentheses then we can say that data equal data minus 1 or we can simply say that minus minus data both are same then we are going to call the display method to find what is the updated data value for the object s1 for that s1 dot display now when we check the code we can see that we are getting the expect output data is 9 so this is for pre decrement now let us see for post decrement. In the last video, you might have watched how did we differentiate the pre increment and post increment. For the pre increment, here we have mentioned min plus plus and followed by a set of parentheses. And for the post increment, again the operator is same. To differentiate, it is for pre or post. Inside we mentioned an integer as parameter. So we have to again define new meaning for post decrement operator some return type we can apply then operator which operator you want to overload then to differentiate to differentiate this from the pre that is we have to say that this method is only for post decrement instead we have to pass an int as an argument no matter whatever may be the data type of our class attribute here it is of int even though it is float here it should be int this is only to differentiate pre and post operation And here we are going to say that data equal data minus 1 or it is equivalent to data minus minus anything you may call. So after that again we can check it s1 dot display we can, we can find that we are getting the expected output data is 8. Now to check that both things are working perfectly or not we will put some display statement here see out 
free decrement operator is done and here you can check that see out post decrement operator is done now let us check the final output we can see that we are getting the expected statements and the expected result for data 9 and the second data 8 so this is an example for unary operator overloading and it is for pre-decrement and post-decrement thank you